people are defending Trump. A lot of people are outraged by the obvious injustice. And one of those people leads a group that I'm, I'm not allowed to, I don't think I'm allowed to say it on the air, probably not even allowed to say it in, in private company, even though it's, it's a word that has a soft R, not a hard R. So it's a word that you hear in the popular culture. So I'm just going to say ninjas for Trump is the group that he leads. A lot of supporters going down into Fulton County, uh, expressing their support for Trump as he was booked last night. Well, here is, to my mind, I'm not being ironic or sarcastic in any way. Here is one of the most articulate defenses of Trump and clear-eyed views of political philosophy. I have heard from a viral character in years. I'm here to support President Trump. You want to know why I'm here to support President Trump? Because they done did black men like this for decades. Make up charges and put them so I know Trump is innocent. I support Trump against this corrupt, two-tiered justice system. That's why I'm here to show my support as a black man for Trump. And I'm wearing my shirt and for Trump 2024, and I mean that. What do you think about the indictments? Oh, it's a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> it's going around the country. You know, Fanny, Fanny Willis, she's a, uh, she went to school with my sister. She full of shit. She was full of shit then. So she's a puppet for the white liberal. And that is controlling everything. She's in front, but the white liberal back there pulling those strings, telling her what to do. That's what I think about her, making a fool of herself. Do you think it's going to help his election? Oh, of course it is. It's going to elevate him all the way. I think we should make Trump king. That's how I feel. <laughs> we should make him be, king. Um, wouldn't that be like kind of like communist? <laughs> no, nah, that's no way near communist. Now we're just going to make him king, but we still got our freedoms and rights and everything. He fought that. Yeah, Trump for king 2024. This guy, I'm not joking, do not think that I am in any way being ironic. This guy is smarter and more insightful and has a clearer view of political philosophy than 97% of the chattering class, probably more, 98 or 99%. His name's Derek Gibson. He ran for governor of New York. I think he's running for Congress right now. This guy is smart and he connects with people because he is able to speak in a way that's entertaining and so he can go viral. Think about what he said there, even just at the end when he said, I think we should make Trump king. And the woman laughs and she says, isn't that kind of communistic? And all of a sudden the joke kind of stops and he looks at her and he says, wait, what? It's not, is, being a king is communistic? Do you not know anything about regime and political philosophy? Who on earth would say that monarchy is communistic? Good grief, lady. Not everything that isn't 1982-style liberalism is communist. Good grief. No. What does he say? He says, no, it's not. Com Monarchies have existed for all of human history. Communism has been around for about 200 years. Uh, no, there are some differences. Communists tend to subvert monarchies too, by the way. You know how the communists have overthrown a number of monarchies or attempted to overthrow a number of monarchies? The Bolsheviks, I don't think, I don't think that the monarch of Russia, I don't think... Tsar Nicholas said, oh, wonderful, my fellow communists come in and kill my family. What are you talking about? He says, no, it's not. He says, it's not communistic. We'll still have our freedoms and our rights. He'll just be the king. And he, he's joking, obviously, but he's not joking about monarchy. There have been many monarchies throughout history that are much more free and are much better at protecting people's rights than supposed democracies. There have been many monarchies throughout history that are much more free, that are much better at protecting people's rights than our supposed democracy right now. Here's exhibit A. They're arresting all the dissidents <laughs> and the lawyers simply for representing the opposition leader who they're arresting too. So preposterous. There's a very shallow liberal view that the only kind of regime that could ever possibly be good or legitimate is uh, democracy in the year of our Lord, 2023. Because a lot of these people will say, oh, even democracy 20 years ago, it was evil, it was oppressive. We didn't have all sorts of rainbow flags everywhere. It was awful. Give me a break. Going back to Polybius, we know. They're, they're good monarchies. The bad version of monarchy is tyranny, but that's just where the, the one man ruling is ruling for himself rather than the common good. There are good aristocracies. They're bad, it's a bad version. It's called oligarchy. And there have been perfectly lovely democracies, but there's a bad version called mob rule. Where are we right now? Right now, go to puretalk.com slash Is your cell phone in desperate need of replacement? 
You know the signs, short battery life, so you got to have a charger on hand. Cracked screen gives the glass splinters. It's time to put that old phone to rest and upgrade to a new 5G Samsung Galaxy from Pure Talk for free. Get a free 5G Samsung Galaxy with two-day battery life, edge-to-edge display, ultra-strong Gorilla Glass when you sign up for Pure Talk's unlimited talk text, and 15 gigabyte data plan for just 35 bucks a month. Plus, comes with a mobile hotspot. If you are not using Pure Talk, you are simply paying too much. Get all the data you could ever need for half the price of the big carriers on America's most dependable 5G network. Go to puretalk.com slash Knowles for your free, super durable 5G Samsung Galaxy when you switch to Pure Talk. Visit puretalk.com slash Knowles and make the switch to my cell phone company. Pure Talk, the official wireless partner of The Daily Wire. Head on over right now to puretalk.com slash Knowles. But then getting to the, to the first part of his political commentary, Mr. Gibson's, he says, when he's asked, what do you think of the charges here? Do you think there's any merit to the charge? He goes, ah, they're a bunch of BS. That is the only response I want to hear when the legal case against Donald Trump is brought up, because it's not a genuine legal case. None of this is being done in good faith. None of this is sincere. It's obviously a bunch of BS. The proof of that is, one, they don't ever prosecute Democrats who, even in recent memory, have committed much more egregious versions of the supposed crime that Donald Trump that Donald Trump committed. But furthermore, They'd get him for eating a ham sandwich. Think They, they impeached him for being pro-Russia, allegedly. They impeached him for being pro-Ukraine, allegedly. They impeached him, or they investigated him for being pro-Russia. They, they impeached him for being pro-Ukraine, allegedly. They said that he's an insurrectionist. They said that he, he had an in-kind donation to his own campaign by sleeping with a porn star or something. They said that he raped a woman in Bergdorf Goodman's 30 years ago, even though she fantasized about how wonderful this would have been. There's no evidence that Trump has, has ever spent more than five seconds with this lady. It's just such obvious BS, and I just don't want to hear it from the, the chattering class. Well, um, actually, you know, if you look at the case against Donald Trump, uh, actually in paragraph four, it says that he, you know, he actually might, we should probably start imprisoning the political opposition. Give me a freaking break, man. Check your clock and know what time it is. Give me, I just don't want to hear it. You, you hear this from very serious people, even Bill Barr, who I still have a considerable degree of respect for, at least as a political thinker, political operator to say, well, this case is serious and this case is less serious. It's all a freaking witch hunt, man. Molly Hemingway made this point. You know, Stalin got his convictions, okay? Fidel Castro got his convictions. Chairman Mao got his convictions. They they got their convictions through show trials of political enemies, which is exactly what we've got right now. I wish we could replace our elite chattering political class with Derek Gibson, leader of Ninjas for Trump. He's a much more serious and clear-minded thinker. Boy, what a great clip that was. Now, you got to ring that bell. Subscribe to the Michael Knowles YouTube show, channel, program, comedy hour. We'll see you next time.